great crowd on hand, and the reason a lot of folks are here is to welcome Dave home. It has been a long and difficult week for Dave Price, beginning more than 4,000 miles away in Anchorage, Alaska, and as he got stuck out west for a couple of days, it appeared and there might really might not be a way home. But on Wednesday, as he started picking up coats, he picked up speed, he went all the way to Cincinnati. And after that, the final leg of his amazing journey home began. For the last seven days, I've journeyed all across the country. Thank you again. Working my way from one end of America to the other, trying to make my way home. But on Wednesday, in Bozeman, Montana, I received an email that provided a new mission for my trip. I got the most touching letter just a few minutes ago. Be well. I had lost two coats along the way, and that prompted an early show viewer to focus in on a theme, the importance of having a warm coat. He emailed me with an offer, $600 to start a one-man coat drive. Yes, early show is doing a coat drive. But accepting that business proposition changed the whole tone of my trip. I began to hand out flyers asking people for coat donations. Can I give you one now? You can. Okay, okay there's another one. <laughs> Yesterday morning in Cincinnati, the generosity I had seen on a small scale continued to grow. There's people that's laying on the curbs in this city and all around America, and if that coat keeps them warm, then that matters to me. In Columbus, Ohio, more of the same. Look at this! And close! <laughs> My rental car filled up quickly. Next stop, Wheeling, West Virginia. We're just raising awareness. Mm -hmm. So if someone needs a coat in your community, they know they can get one. Perhaps the most poignant moment of the week came at the very end. Late last night in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, 174 miles from home, I met the man who sent that email. This is him. Mike Flanagan knows about second chances. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Mike's offer inspired me and in turn inspired many others. If I gave $600, they would have bought 30 coats. I mean, I don't know how many coats are here. There's a couple hundred. But I've had emails all day because I've been asking people all over the country. People are giving coats, which is great. Mike says he's always believed that one person can make a difference. What's happened here struck a chord with you and it struck a chord with me and with a lot of other people and it's going to strike a chord with a lot of other people because the guy that doesn't have that coat and is cold and gets it he's just going to say thank god i got a coat okay and so it sometimes no, happens no. you start down one road and suddenly you change direction okay. but in the end right. you end up in a better place than you had ever imagined <laughs> 